China, we only use the mulberry leaves, bitter leaf herbs, no more. Only this kind of leaves. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then here we can take a look at the whole life of the silk worms. Uh, for the silk worms, the whole life they have four growth stages. So let's say eggs, here is a nabas, pupus, and the silk moth. Usually, each pair of the silk moth they can produce the 400 silk eggs. And the eggs, after two or three days, they will be hatched to the nabas. In the Nava time, they have one, two, three, four, five stages, and every stage like a five days. So that means from the smallest Nava to the biggest Nava, just like a 25 days. Yeah. And after 25 days, they start eating, and then they will spin out a thread from the mouth but around their body. So after two days, cocoon finish it. And all of this beautiful silk, they are all made of the cocoons. So cocoon for us, it's very important. But in China, we have two different kinds of this cocoon. So we can compare the size. See, we have a little bit uh, a smaller cocoon and a bigger cocoon. They are big difference. A smaller cocoon, that means only one one pupa inside. So we often call this smaller one single cocoon. And only from this smaller single cocoon we can get a uh, single thread. Like this one, we can fail. So we often use single cocoons. We make the clothes, scarves, pajamas, duvet covers, or the carpets. So single cocoon more useful and the price more expensive. Yeah, and the bigger one, special one, just because two, two worms inside. So we call the bigger one twins cocoon. But from this kind of cocoon, no spread. See, no spread. Just because the structure. They are twist each other. We cannot find out the beginning of this thread. So uh, we often use this kind of cocoons. We make these kind of layers. Yes. And we often use the layers. We make the inside something like the quilts, the blankets, and the pillows. So different cocoon, different use. Yeah. And inside we also got a machine, so I'm going to show you how to get the threads from the single cocoons or how to use the layers to make the quilts. Okay, let's see inside. There's no need. They are long fibers, so they always keep the original shape. They never move around and they never bounce off. So just keep stretching layer by layer. That's it. Yeah.